Hi, I'm Bonnie Kempke. Welcome to my studio and welcome to Quilting on Thread. This is part two of a set of videos on getting to know your little rebel. The first video was concerned with winding the bobbin and getting the bobbin into the bobbin case. This is going to be the portion on threading. I separated these videos this way so that if you're interested in threading, you can go straight to threading. And if you're interested in winding a bobbin and adjusting the bobbin threading mechanism, you can go directly to that. Okay, so the first thing to do with threading the machine is to take your cone or your spool of thread and drop it on your um, thread post. For threading machine, you want to go ahead and use the front thread post. So take the thread post, then take your thread and drop it through that pigtail to get into the eyelet there. Pull out enough thread, and then you're going to come to this post. Now there are plenty of diagrams on the machine about how to thread the machine, but I'm going to try and bring you in real close. So you want to take that thread and go through the top of the first hole, you know, the top hole, and you want to come from the back of your machine through that top hole, bring that thread through that hole as much as you want. I like to have plenty of thread. Then you want to take the thread around around the front and then to the back through that bottom hole. Go ahead and pull the thread. Then you have a nice wrap around your thread post, your thread pull, just as you did in that diagram. Now, before you go any further, it's important that you have your needle at its highest point. So go ahead and rotate your flywheel, bringing the needle up to its highest point. At its highest point, your uptake lever will be about here. So just go to the point before the needle starts dropping with your uptake lever at a nice high point. It's not all the way up here because up here it's already starting to take its descent. So at this point with your presser foot up and your needle at the highest point your tension is not engaged and your needle is in the right point to get the best threading. So come through this top eyelet here at the item. This is your pretensioner and it's labeled for from the back, come through that eyelet, pull the thread as far as you can through, and then go ahead and floss your thread into those tensioning discs. You want to feel a little bit of tension, but not too much, because your tension is not engaged, and that's good. And this is only the pretensioner anyway. What that does is it prepares the thread to go into the tensioning disc. So then come through that bottom hole from the front to the back, pulling the thread down. So I like to take the thread in both hands, bring it from the right side of your tensioning disc, top to bottom, pull it in pretty snugly, then Pull the thread forward on the knob to the back and then bring it for um, bring it to the left. And what you're trying to do is catch that spring. And so by traveling around the um, tensioning knob to the back of it and then forward, you get that spring. And if you hold the thread up here and pull, you'll see that spring has been engaged. Bring it around that bottom catch. Since you know that your needle and lever arm, uptake lever, are in the right place, 
thread from right to left through the the um, lever arm. Now we're going to come down here to the bottom. And you'll see this situation. It's an odd little configuration, but what you want to do is you want to bring that thread through, and it helps if you hold the thread over here like this, bring it through, bring it all the way to the back, twist it around. Now you are in that um, mechanism. Let me show you how to do that again. Hold the thread here to your right, drop the thread into that ditch. There's a little arm that you want to go around and under, so bring the thread around and under that arm and let go of it. Now you're firmly in the little mechanism. Now we want to thread the eyelet over on this side of your needle. Now I'm going to have a hard time doing that and avoiding the camera, but I'm going to do the best I can. So you want to come from the left to the right. Okay, so there it is. It's through there. Bring that all the way through. Now then, we have to thread the needle. If you dampen the edge of the thread, the end of the thread, and you find that groove, and you just guide down that groove, it'll go right into the eye of the needle. Now, if you have a hard time with that, then you can certainly use the needle threader. So let me show you how the needle threader would work. If you push this in slightly, you'll see that that post has a little divot in it. And how you do that is you put the thread in the little, you put the thread between the V's and you just put the V's on the needle and just guide and the thread will come right through. So that's two different ways to thread your needle. And then I always go ahead and manually rotate to pull up my bobbin thread. And we got to get it all the way there. Pull up my bobbin thread. And there your machine has been threaded. So I hope my videos on um, winding your bobbin and adjusting the bobbin winding mechanism and threading your machine help to make your journey with your little rebel more enjoyable. And I hope to see you again here on Quilting on a Thread. Bye-bye now.